Hey guys, uh, wanted to tell you about what we're doing and what we're planning for Joe. Um, still probably going to take Joe up to next three or four months to, uh, and, th and this keeps pushing off, uh, to Cartagena or Bogota to compete, but just in single matches, uh, we're not, we're not going to try to go through any tournaments. Uh, got a lot of reasons of doing things the way I'm doing them. Uh, most people don't understand anything that we do, or it's very weird to them. And in this world today, when you're doing something that's not normal, you're probably doing the right thing. Uh, but here goes. Here's what we're planning uh, Joe competed at the tail end of being 12 and through age 13. Uh, our problem has been we can't find no one near, near uh, his size at uh, then at, uh, at that age. And uh, here in Columbia... Um, the lower weight classes, there's no problem with. Uh, that would be indicative of Latinos putting out uh, excellent lower uh, weight class fighters, but not being able to put out uh, heavyweights in general. I mean, they've had a couple of great ones, but uh, or good ones, but they're not known. Uh, for heavyweight boxing. Um, closest you'd come to that, I believe, would be Mexico and possibly Puerto Rico. But in South America itself, um, you heavyweights are few and far between, and the heavyweights that you have are just fat people, and certainly not at Joe's age. And Joe right now... Uh, is 190 to 93 pounds. Uh, it's probably 189 now because we just both, he and I got sick. We caught a virus and we were sick. But uh, we are going to, without fail, I do a video and there's noise. Uh, but I'm going to wait and uh, Joe's going to turn 15 here soon over the summer. I don't really like even giving the months out of online. Uh, dumbest thing you can do online is give out your birthday because it can be added up and then somebody's got your birth date. So I don't like doing that either. Uh, very limited on what we show. We don't show maybe one percent or a half a percent of even training some things we show a few seconds of here and there and you know how we do it and there's a reason for that as well um and let me give you the reason you got a good or a great amateur boxer and boom he turns pro you got all this stuff floating around online uh, w with you, they just go directly to you and you're the source of giving all your cards away. So the less film you have of what you're doing, I call it film video of what you're doing uh, and fights that you've had, the 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 better you're the better for it so we love you know oh boy it's in my mentality to show off and uh be the biggest guy on the block or whatever that's my mentality and it's very hard for me not to sit here and bombard you guys and that's why we use the reflex bag because it's exciting to, to watch 
Joe religiously uses it. This reflex bag we have is not the reflex bag you purchase online anywhere. This thing is uh, um, solid steel and it's heavy and the whole thing combined weighs about 300 pounds. Uh, so it's a heavy, you know, with the basin on. So it's a heavy contraption and we use it and, and I had it made like that because in the 30s and 40s uh, fighters used to use these and into the 50s and this is made like those were made, not like these things are made today. Today they make them, you boom, slip, boom, slip. And that's not what we use it for. It's not the original intent of these bags when they were invented. And we do a lot of things weird to you. And, uh, uh, and like I said before, generally when we're doing things weird to you, different, odd, uh, you're doing what you need to be doing. Um, so Joe's going to start competing towards the middle of 15 years old or towards the end of 15 years old. And he will be competing in the juniors for 15 and 16 year olds. And that's the way I'm going to do it. We, we've had so much mass, uh, uh, Joe, they went to a big place in, uh, in a small town here, had a big tournament, and of course Joe beat everybody up uh, by knockout, mind you. And parents are complaining, the boxing league, now we were in another state then, the boxing league was like, no, we, uh -uh, no, we don't want you here. Uh, they don't seem to like knocking somebody spark out around here. Or around there. Uh, it's a smaller state, a more rural state, so that probably had a lot to do with that. Uh, we've had a lot of problems here, folks. We've uh, been set up. We've had uh, Joe's got in, uh, has, has sparred with folks that we were told were 15 years old. Turns out they were 18, 19 years old. Uh, you know, you look at the guy, he's got loose clothes on, wearing jogging pants to spar in. And uh, he says he's 154 pounds, and he's 172 or 74 pounds. Uh, that we've had where we've come in and they're like, hey, let's light spar. And Joe hasn't even got a warm up and got into light spar and been set up. Uh, but without fail, Joe lets him hands go, and, and then the control of the situation starts happening. Uh, but we've seen it all here because here uh, nobody knows how to act like they got any damn sense. Here there's a bunch of little boys and a few men. Uh, here it's applaudable to get the pat on the back for lying to somebody and taking every available cheating advantage that you can take. And I'm not beyond the form. Look, I'm a realist here. I know, I know you got to do what you got to do to win. But when you're in there and you're lying about your age, you're lying about the experience that you have in this and that. But the good thing uh, is no good, see. That's where pistols come out of gym bags. Uh, now, the good thing that Joe has experienced was that when he first started, he got beat up really bad two or three times a week by a professional boxer that I had go dead on him. So when Joe runs in on adversity now at 14, uh what he experienced when he had just turned 13 is nothing to him now. Uh, so, uh, and we're trying to figure out how to express this the right way. Uh, the ass whoopings that Joe got consistently for a 
couple of months uh, made him tough and toughened him up. Um, you have, nobody's even seen Joe. We've put up a little bit of sparring here and there. Uh, nobody's even seen Joe here online that we've put out. Some others may have put out. I don't know. But you guys haven't even seen Joe hit it 75% of what he's got or 80% of what he's got or all of what he's got. Nobody's even seen him well as hard as he could and uh, or give all that he's got. Uh, so we've had the cops called on us for Joe sparring somebody too hard. Uh, we, we've just been through the ringer. <laughs> uh, so I don't know of no more. I'm trying to put in why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, Joe's just too big here at 14 to be in the intermediate uh, class. And uh, so we're going to wait and see if we can find some junior 16. Uh, maybe they let 17-year-olds fight 16-year-olds. And maybe we figure something out where... Joe can uh, bump up a class and uh, fight some seven, 16, 17 year olds instead of 15, 16 year olds. Uh, that would work better for him. It would give him more of a, a challenge and, uh, it, and it probably keep from getting the cops called on us again. Uh, so but it's not a bad thing to have a 14-year-old boy beating the shit out of an 18-year-old boy and having that guy's parents call the cops on you. Uh, that, that's, that's a story. I'm an old man. So, I, so far, I can carry anything. But Joe will be able to carry that the rest of his life. And uh, that'll be good. But uh, when we do... Uh, get into some tournaments uh, you still ain't going to see a whole lot uh, if he gets a clean knockout on somebody uh, you'll maybe I'll put that up uh, put up the raising of the hands put up maybe a little smidgens here and there uh, but we don't want to and I'm a firm believer in uh, coming from being trained myself from guys that were in the 40, that trained in the 40s and 50s. And one old man was in the th 30s, 1930s, working with me when I was a kid. And they were, you don't never let nobody see what you got going on. And only a damn fool would do that. And uh, so... We're going to go that route and see what happens. If, uh, if Joe, I, we don't know what's going to happen. See, Joe's going to go to the university. He's going to get a good education. Uh, so we know that's going to happen too. Um, but uh, if, in fact, he does go into the U.S. Naval Academy, uh, he can get in the uh Navy Marine Corps boxing that they do and I'm sure he'd want to do it uh, many champions many champions have come about through that uh, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens but putting all our cards on the table and moving fast uh, there's no need to there's absolutely no need to um, I know what he's got he knows what he's got uh, so it's not like we need to prove anything by showing anyone anything. And uh, we've just experienced a friend uh, who is getting back into competitive boxing and, and, and going to have has some fights coming up. He went and took all his videos down that were pertaining to his training and what he's doing. And kudos to him because... He, he would just be showing everybody who he is, what he's about, all the strengths that he does possess. And uh, 
he doesn't want to do that. So he's a smart guy, very smart guy. So I just wanted to lay that out there to all you guys and let you know we're not moving anything along real fast. Uh, I know what we got getting uh, golden gloves or whatever that they uh, they have like state champions here and, and, at his age and getting something like that is meaningless to us. It's not what we're gunning for. It's not what he's trying to achieve. Uh, it's a lot bigger things on the horizon that he's looking at and uh, we're just going to move real slow and we're going to continue going the way that we go. Uh, we'll put a little bit more sparring out here soon. Uh, I'm being very careful with this sparring and uh, having tremendous trouble finding sparring partners because I tell Joe uh, now you just go in going full blast on somebody because you can't trust these people here. Uh, if we were in the U.S., it'd be a lot different, but you cannot trust these people here. So they'll take you in a sparring session now. Let's say you spar eight rounds, uh, eight two-minute rounds, for example, because they do that a lot here. Uh, they'll get the last 20 seconds of the eighth round, and they'll start just welling out of nowhere on you. And, uh, you know, when you've made a gentleman's agreement to have medium or light sparring. So, we're no more fucking around with us. It's all hard sparring. And these guys don't want it. And they, Joe's name's spreading around here and around Columbia like wildfire. And uh, they know that someone hurt Joe. And everybody's like, am I going to be the payback? And... That's good because that's what we want everybody thinking. Uh, so that's good in itself. So other than that, I really don't know what to say. Just we're not moving quickly. We have no need to. Uh, uh, we're in, in the process of moving yet again. And wherever we get, I've told my wife, I'm staying put there until... I returned to the U.S. and uh, no more of this moving around mess and uh, it's just too difficult on Joe even though he's homeschooled and thank God for that. Thank God he's getting schooled from the academy in Florida that he goes to. It's excellent. Uh, very, very uh, difficult work and he breezes right through it. We're just thankful for everything with concerns to that. And uh, we're moving at a snail's pace compared to what kids are moving at today. And uh, we're going to continue to do so until Joe's about maybe around 15 and a half. And he's fixing to turn 15, so it shouldn't be too much longer. Going to do some competing in the juniors and may stop again may, after that. Just stop again. And uh, then if he goes into the Naval Academy, he can get in the Navy Marine Boxing Program if he so chooses or what have you. Like I said, many, many champions come out of that place. So we'll just have to wait and see, see what he's going to do, see what his options are. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe he turns pro uh, as a young guy and, foregoes the college for a year or two and sees what he can do as a pro and use money to go to school with. I don't know. we we'll just have to wait and see. But um, the beauty of it is we can wait and see. See, you don't have to do everything quickly or at one time. So we just wanted to say that in my rambling statement here. And God bless you all. And... Uh, we're getting better now. Joe says, oops, I want to start training again today. So soon we're going to, he's going to start doing some stuff today and get back in the swing of things. So God bless you all. Uh, and remember, ask the good Lord for what you need over asking the good Lord what you want. Because he knows what you need to get you where you need to be. 
and all of you have a good day.